Hi folks, welcome to my weekly cash stuffing and um, I want to start off, uh, first of all, apologies, I might be getting um, a bit of a chest infection so if my voice goes, do forgive me. Um, but I also wanted to um, start off with some happy mail that's come as well. So uh, without further ado, and honestly I don't know who this is from, so this will be fun. Uh, oh, grounded budgets, right, oh I'm very interested to see this. I saw... Someone else purchased this and I loved it and I thought I'm going to have a go at it. Thank you for, so much for taking a chance and ordering this theme pack without knowing exactly what you were going to get. I hope you enjoy the challenges. The Princess Bride is a fun book and film. I had a hard time narrowing down to what references to include, but I figured no one wanted a rouse challenge. Hopefully I've pronounced that right. If you share your order even better on social media, please tag me, which I obviously will. This is from Grounded Budgets. Oh, that's right. So I, I um, ordered the Princess Bride mystery pack. Ah, oh, obviously. As you wish, of course. Uh, set aside £5 for each rolling hill, which saves £45. Pass the pirate draw a mask on each face to pass on the dread pirate title. Inconceivable. Ah, I love that. Uh, rope climb. Okay, that's interestingly, that was filmed at the C Cliffs of Mohar in uh, Ireland, on the coast, the west coast of Ireland, Cliffs of Mohar. Go and see it if you ever get a chance. Buttercup. <gasps> the Poison Goblet. Anybody who's ever watched The Princess Bride a gazillion times, like me, gets all these references. The Six Fingers. Is it a kissing book or an action book? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> my name is Diego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> love it. Okay, so that was the Princess ba Bride mystery challenges. And then this, very much looking forward to this. Oh, something else. Oh, another little thank you for the order. That's so cool. And a lovely little, oh, beautiful. That gorgeous. I love collecting beautiful paper clips and pins. Okay, so this is the Choose Your Own Adventure. One of my so those of us who love books probably have books from our kind of teenage years or early 20s or whatever that um you know that are our tracks of our years kind of thing and one of the books I have is called The Citadel of Chaos I think it's volume two and it's exactly one of these you roll a dice you open the book you go to the you know you read the scenario you throw a dice or you read you know choose your options and then you make your way through the book and I've never got my way through the book, The Citadel of Chaos. I always get to the dead end, but I still have the book because one day I will sit there and I will play it until I finish it. So when I saw this, it just brought me right back to, um, you know, my teens when I was playing that sort of Dungeons and dragons -y kind of book thing. Um, so yeah, great. I'm going to enjoy doing that. And then it comes with, I think, a little tracker as well for each story. So that's Choose Your Own Adventure from Grounded Budgets along with her Princess Bride Mystery Challenges. So that's fabulous. Then um, I've, I think I only ordered one thing from, um, and forgive me, I can only find a nail to open up these boxes. So here we go. Um, Budgeting Bonkers. I just love her stuff. And she's such, Karen is such a lovely girl. Uh, if you do get the opportunity to support her, please do so. Oh, this is, oh, fabulous. Great. This is, I love it when I forget I've ordered things. This is her subscription. October subscription. If you subscribe before the 1st of October, you got a little bonus. But look how beautifully this is packaged. And you get three per month, I believe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Karen. So I opted for the six month option and 
She's throwing this in as a free gift because I, I was talking to her about it. Karen, you're too generous, honestly. Um, I wanted a, some way of choosing challenges that I would build up and then I would ascribe them to various categories, you know, like holidays or Christmas or something like that. And I said, oh, I'd really love a spinner. She says, well, you know, you can do it with dice as well. And so she's given me the little dicey dashboard that um, that she uses to, not obviously the one that she uses personally, but, you know, she uses this to distribute her, you know, the savings funds around. So that's fabulous. Thank you, Karen. And then we've got ooh, 12 month challenge. Oh yeah, it's a 12 month challenge and you, um, you get 660 pounds at the end of it. And each month has different amounts so that you can get 660. This is great. Because what I'm thinking of doing is doing a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. And then maybe adding um, my, you know, from my groceries, the rock, paper, scissors that I see people do, adding it to something as well. So that's great. I'll be able to use that in that vein as well. And then look at all the packaging. Isn't it just stupendously beautiful? And then we've got so I'm just going to have to invent a way of putting like a little red tape or a blue tape along there so I can find where these open up because I am blind, honest to goodness. Right, so what have we got in here? Again, this is part of the subscription, so I believe. Uh, so we've got, oh, look. Little money bag, I love those, those are so cute. This could be the bonus. Um, and then you've got the wizardy woo, and you choose your own amount, and then, um, you know, score it off. And then you've got a pen that goes with it as well. So that is fabulous. So that is from Budgeting Bonkers. Again, all details down below. Um, let me just double check that I am still recording because that would be a disaster. Yes, I am up to seven minutes. So what I might do is just do this as a happy mail and then do another one that is my cash stuffing one because I've got quite a bit to kind of sort out and go through and stuff as well. I'm using a nail. I know it's not the best. Right. And it's not always, look, beautiful packaging. Thank you. It came in proper packaging as well. I just obviously took that off. So, uh, you know, to you know, hide names and addresses and all that good stuff. Right. Oh, and this came, oh, so this is the dice that goes with Dicey, um, with the Dicey Challenge one, which is fantastic, because I do not have a 10-sided dice. That is now going in my dice collection. That's a rock, paper, scissors one I got. I think it was from Kimberly Budgets. So, or it could be from Stressed Mum, can't remember. But I've got some really lovely stuff recently, so. Another free gift? Oh my goodness, stop it. And this one is a 30 envelope challenge. I'm actually going to be doing a 50 envelope challenge, 52 week envelope challenge in 2025. But if I get anything extra, I might do this one as well. Um, so that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Karen. Again. And now this, this I hope is what I have been waiting for. This is going to be so, yes. Oh my God, look at this, it's so gorgeous. The packaging is just superb. And by the way, guys, the amount of money all of you put into your packaging and everything, you know, if it can save you money, I'm okay just having bog standard, you know? I know you guys try so hard, and I mean all of you that I purchased from. Every single one of you. Uh, you know, goes that extra length with the, pa the packaging. But honestly, I'm a save your money kind of girl. So, you know, if you can do that, by all means. So what this is, I wanna, it's my retirement builder. 
Okay, so this is a custom binder that Karen has made for me so that I can do some multi-year long-term saving. Okay, so this is not one nice stuff every week, every month or every year. It is just my long-term one. What I've also got in here is Natalie's bucket list as well. So I want to go to the fat duck and I've got a little fat duck challenge. I want to go to the Northern Lights on a cruise or some way and I've got that as well. So again, these are not going to be completed in a day or an hour, you know. I want to go to Japan in the springtime and so I've got a little Jap Japanese challenge. I want to go to the theatre more often. So this is one I'm probably going to be using more often. And I've got a little theatre challenge. And I'm going to buy a telescope. And so I've got a telescope. So I've got all these different challenges. Oh, and, and again, like the theatre tickets, the restaurant ones are sort of smaller wins. Um, so that is that is my um, bucket list. So she's made me my bucket list. And these are all personal to me. And she's put a lot of thought into them. And, you know, we had a conversation about it. And, you know, did I like the designs? Did I like the font and everything? Everything was customizable. And then this is my retirement builder. So again, this is going to be something that is, you know, 10 years in the making kind of thing. So what I wanted was a way to build up 500 pounds, 5,000 pounds, and then 50,000 pounds, each one building, um, you know, from the, from the previous one. So as I get 500 pounds in this, then I can chalk off one here. As I get 5,000 pounds here, then I can chalk off one here. And eventually when all of these are chalked off, I will have 50,000 pounds. Obviously most of this is gonna be digital. It's going to be um, made, you know, to stay in the bank in, in some high interest savings or an ISA or something. But it's just my way of keeping track of where I want to be with, um, with my long, long term savings, but having some fun along the way and putting some money again, most of this will be digital. So most of this, I will be using my little um, placeholders, um, but it will be an opportunity for me to keep track as to how my savings are evolving to allow me to do some of these things to tick off my bucket list. Um, and these are genuine bucket list things for me. You know, I do want to have a telescope. I do want to go to some really cool restaurants. I do want to go to the theater more. Um, I do want to see the Sakura in Japan. I'm not interested in technology Japan, Japan. I'm interested in old school Japan and, um, and the Northern Lights obviously as well. That's one of my big, big things. So I'm really excited about this, but it's not something that I will be adding to regularly, but it's one that will be there for me for the very long term. So thank you so much for making this for me, Karen. I really, really appreciate it. This is beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted and um, I'm very grateful. And then just to say the other thing is I was on AliExpress and I found this cutest little piggy goes with all my little piggy th themed things. I've got my little, I've had this little piggy uh, cup for about 30 odd years, as you can tell, because it's starting to fall apart. But um, I love pigs. So that's another little piggy thing to add to my little pink piggy thing. So I think I'll, let me have a look. Is this about 10 minutes? Yeah, oh, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna stop now and hopefully, let me just see what that would have looked like as if I was doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now and um, I'll do my cash stuffing separately. But thank you all so much. And thank you so much to Karen, Grounded Budgets and everybody else who's been, um, who sent me great stuff recently. Um, I've had great stuff from Stressed Mum UK, Grounded Budgets, Kimberly Budgets, um, Arc Designs, um, obviously Budgeting Bonkers, so many great, um, Etsy shops and um, I'm very, very grateful that they have really lovely stuff out there that I can um, splurge a little on as well. So thank you so much, folks. Talk soon.